I'm Sandra and today I'll be sharing with you guys my photo shoot ready makeup routine. First, I'm applying my Becca Cosmetics Radiance Primer for a smooth application. Next, I'm going to be using my MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot. This is my favorite eyeshadow base. I have been using this for the past 8 years. So next, I'm going to be using the Kylie Cosmetics eyeshadow. I've been using this palette for a long, long time now. I think maybe like two years since she first came out with this. And this is like my go-to. Next, we're going to be using the Anastasia Master Palette by Mario. This is my other go-to palette. I like to mix in two palettes to do my makeup routine. I find that the colors here blend really nicely too. Next, I'm using my MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix Fluid in SPF. 15. This one is in the color NC30. I have been using this as my go-to foundation for all my photo shoots the past seven years. And I never forget the neck because when you take a photo, they always look at your neck. So if the color is uneven, it's definitely noticeable. Next, I'm using my foundation brush. I just like to blend upwards. Next, I'm using the MAC Cosmetics Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm in the shade NC25. So I like to use my fingers for this. I just pump a little bit and just dab it on your cheek. There you go. Now I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender to blend in my concealer. Now I'll be applying my Laura Mercier powder and filling in my brows. I'll be using my MAC Cosmetics Brow Shadow. I like to take the lighter shade and do it at the inner part of my brows because we want to give it that soft look. Next, I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. And I like to just comb over the entire eyebrow. I feel like this just keeps the hair in place and it just makes it look more natural. Next, I like to go in with the highlight shade. I like to do it at the end. I find that it works for me because I'm able to see exactly where I want the highlight shade. Now, taking that same blending brush that I used before, I'm just blending in the highlight shade with the original shades I used. Now, I'll be going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, then following up with my MAC Bronzer and Hourglass Blush. Next, I'm taking my Becca Cosmetics highlighter in the color Champagne Pop. This is my absolute favorite. I feel like this looks really good on anyone who has a yellow undertone, pink undertone, neutral. It looks great. The camera stopped recording in the middle of shooting, but I went ahead and did my eyeliner, and my eyeliner is from M Cosmetics. So the top eyeliner has always been one of the hardest things to do. So I always place my pinky finger on my cheekbone. I use this top eyeliner to go straight across and I give it that wing at the end to give it a little bit of an edge. Next, I'm going in with cream in your coffee. It's by MAC Cosmetics. I love all their lipsticks. I only use MAC Cosmetics lipsticks. So this has been the holy grail of my makeup routine. This is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I like to use this travel size because I travel a lot and it fits right in my makeup bag. But this, just a few sprays of this, makes your whole makeup routine all the more glowy and natural. Next, I'm going to be using the House of Lashes in, I think this is Juliet. I have been using House of Lashes for the past seven years. I kind of just stay within my makeup routine. Um, I just find that this works for me. This has been my favorite lashes because it just has the most volume that works for my eye shape. So there you have it guys. This is my makeup routine. I hope you guys really enjoy this video. Until next time.